Whoa, my name is Michael and I'm an SST for the Systems Management Group here at Dell. Today we'll be covering security vulnerabilities for Open Managed Server Administrator using IIS Crypto version 3.2. This is to help mitigate against threats while using known flawed security features like TLS 1.0. In doing this task, always back up the registry as this utility is a third party tool and makes changes to the registry. It is important to have the ability to back up or revert if needed. Keep in mind each time you make a change to the registry, Windows requires a reboot for changes to take effect. Now let's get started by taking a backup of the needed registry keys. So we need a H key local machine, current control set, control, security providers, then S channel. So we take a backup of our current configuration of S channel. So we just click export. And I've already made files for these. So I'm going to call this the original configuration. And then I'm going to name the key the same as the key name in the registry. Okay, now let's go to the cryptography key. Under software, Microsoft, cryptography. And the main key here is configuration. So we'll take an export of that. and it's in our original configuration file. Okay, and now I've already downloaded IS Crypto. So it's a portable utility, you click on it and it launches the GUI. And of course, there's many options in the GUI. Um, for this tutorial, we'll use the best practices option for our first choice. And it's at the bottom left of the screen. And when selecting so, it configures the Cypher Suites for you. So I'll select Reboot and hit Apply. And we will wait for it to come back up. Now we have best practices in place and the reboot has completed. We need to keep in mind that this can be done incorrectly and at that point open managed server administrator will fail to launch as it uses specific settings requiring TLS. Uh, we can confirm currently that open managed server administrator is functioning. And here we have open managed server administrator. In the event of failure here, uh, we just uh, can either merge the exported file back into the registry or reuse IS Crypto to reconfigure the registry for correct functionality. I will now demonstrate a failure by selecting only the TLS option and no Cypress. We'll go back to my download file and launch IS Crypto. And I'm going to deselect everything except TLS 1.2. I'm also going to remove all the Cypher suites. So now that we only have TLS 1.2, which is a common oversight as the Cypher suites are required. We'll reboot the uh, server here. Now we can see the operating system is loaded from the host and currently TLS 1.2 only was selected. So when trying to access the server through RDP, it fails to connect basically because we broke the registry to connect to RDP as well as open managed server administrating being able to launch. So I've connected through IDRAC here 
log in and test functionality of Open Managed Server Administrator. And as we can see, Open Managed Server Administrator is not going to launch either. So we now have to fix this. We will use IIS to configure TLS 1.2 correctly. We will do this based on an environment requirement as would be considered the most secure per a security standard to use TLS 1.2 only and the needed ciphers. So we go back to our downloads folder and select IIS crypto. We will leave TLS 1.2, but add the ciphers, hashes, and key exchanges needed. We're going to use AES, SHA-256 and higher, and all three key exchanges. And then we will use the associated cipher suites. Okay, and that selects all the needed cipher suites and to confirm one more time, we cannot connect through RDP as channel 1.2 and the needed ciphers and hashes and then the tick box for reboot and apply okay, we can see in the iDirect virtual console that we're back in the operating system and we should be using tls 1.2 only with its correct configuration so i'll now try to remote desktop to this server And we successfully logged into the server through RDP. And we will now test functionality of Open Managed Server Administrator. And we see that we get the security page and are able to log in to Open Managed Server Administrator. These settings are separate from the registry settings. We do show all three being used here. We will go and confirm in the registry that we are only using TLS 1.2. This is going to be S channel. We can go ahead and export a copy of this. And we are going to put this in TLS 1.2. Save it, and then we will look at it in Notepad. Okay, and the FFF is the enabled option. And all zeros would be the disabled option. And we see we have our AES. our hashes, starting with 256 and higher. We have our protocols all disabled. Except for TLS 1.2. Well, that wraps up our tutorial for the use of IS Crypto with Open Managed Server Administrator. Thanks for watching.